Okay, so in the topic of manipulation of I.O. pins, one of the things that we need to talk about or should talk about are pull-up resistors. They're very common. You see them all over the place. Often, you'll see them on the outside of your processor as discrete components. Um, however, it's entirely possible to use the internal pull-up uh, resistors that are found inside of the AVR and as well as other microprocessors that are out there and basically what it means is this if you look at the dash line right here this means sort of the outside edge of the chip on the left hand side you've got the metal pin and on the inside you've got the input register bit um, say uh, pin C bit 0 for instance and attached to it is an optional pull-up resistor that's that little zigzag that you see in the schematic right there and it can be turned on and off. So if we have the data direction register for this particular bit set to be an input pin, then you can then manipulate the port register for this particular bit to be either zero or one. Now, normally you'd set it to zero and that, that would be the typical way that you would do it. And then you don't have to worry about this at all. But if you set it to one, then the switch that you see at the top right there closes and it engages this pull-up resistance which basically means that if nothing is connected to the input pin the metal pin of the processor then you will have a logic input value on that register bit of one or high if on the other hand uh, you have uh, say a five volt a high level coming in then uh, that's attached to that input pin then you will get the logic high and if you have a uh, logic zero coming in from the outside world, it will also be a logic zero. When the logic zero is coming in from the outside world, what will actually happen is you'll get a little bit of current that will run through that resistor. It'll be a small little voltage drop, but the overall effect on the logic input signal won't be noticeable. Now, you can also put them on the outside of the microprocessor. And this is often how we actually see it, especially in uh, very important applications where you have to guarantee, not during the software boot up of the processor, but in all states, that the input of that, uh, that pin is actually a guaranteed value of either a logic high or a logic low, a logic high by default if things are broken and disconnected. So what you see on the top image right there is that you have an outside or external pull-up resistor that will make sure that when things are disconnected on port C bit three, that you have a logic high value. That is the default state. If you close the switch, uh, then you can uh, then get a logic zero. You can do the same thing if you are clever uh, and consistent about engaging the internal pull up of the microprocessor. It's the same thing.